What's up? In this video, I'm gonna give you a few tips and tricks on how to hide valuables in your room while out on vacation. So stay tuned. Welcome back, Carlos here with the Range 11 Tactical. On this channel, we create content full of useful tips, techniques, and or drills just like this one. So if you want to build and or expand your tactical knowledge base, hit that subscribe button and notification bell to catch all my latest videos. All right, so you're out on vacation, you're at a hotel, you're going to go down to the pool for a little bit, maybe for a run. Uh, you'll be out of the room for an hour or so. You don't have to take all your valuables with you, right? Maybe that tablet or a laptop, your passport, some extra cash, right? So on this video, I'm going to give you a few tips on kind of convenient hiding places inside the room so that your stuff is a lot more secure than leaving it out in the open. Additionally, if you haven't seen my video on hotel security tips, check that out because I give you a lot of bonus tips and ideas on how to secure the room while you're in it and provide some early warning systems. But like I said, on this video, we're gonna discuss some convenient hiding spots for kind of those smaller valuables that you may have to leave back in the room. So let's get to it. All right, so first let's talk about the laptop, right? This is one of those items that can easily be taken and if not exploited uh, for information uh, pertaining to you, right? So it's definitely something you wanna secure. Obviously, if you can take it with you, you do so, but if you can't, you wanna secure, right? So one of the best places to kind of secure this and kind of hide it in plain sight is underneath the drawers on the cabinet that comes usually with the room. So let's zoom into that, kind of show you how that works. All right, so all you do, you open up the drawer, right? And then uh, whatever, use the, the latches there to kind of open it up. And then underneath the, the, the drawer, you can hide your laptop as such, right? Once I close this drawer back up, make sure it closes properly. Now it's completely secure and you can't even tell that it's, uh, that it's in there, right? So as I open it up, it's completely secure. You can't see it from the side or any other angle, right? So that's a convenient spot to kind of hide your laptop. Just to, and then to pull it back, of course, I'll hit the latches on this side, the latch on that side, and then there is the laptop hidden in a very uh, hard to find spot. All right, next let's talk about good places to hide your cash, right? A convenient spot is actually in the closet here. All you need to do is find one of these that have these little hooks here. And what I like to do is I'll clip the money onto it as such. And then you grab some clothes and then you just simply put it on there as such. Right now your money is kind of hidden inside of the clothing. And then you just put it kind of in between your clothes and then there you go. Make sure you have a lot of stuff in the closet there, right? Cause if you just have one item, it's kind of obvious, right? But as you can see, the money's in that right there and there's absolutely no way to tell unless you get inside and you see that the money is in there. So that's a good little place to kind of secure some cash, right? I would also consider hiding it in multiple spots. Don't put all your cash in one spot because if it is found, then you're gonna be out completely, right? So that's a good little hiding spot for money. All right, next let's talk about where to hide small items, such as maybe some IDs, right? Uh, maybe a credit card, your passport, or maybe even a thumb drive, right? So one thing I do is I always carry a little bit of rolled duct tape, right? Just take the big roll, roll it a little bit onto itself. Super small, compact, super convenient, right? You can fix some stuff, but it's also very handy to hide stuff, right? So in this case, I'll just rip up as much as I need for whatever item I'm hiding. So in this, in this case, you know, a couple of inches is more than enough. And then I simply place that onto whatever item I'm trying to hide. In this, in this case, it's an ID. It could be a passport. It could be money. It could be really anything small, right? Uh, and then I can hide it pretty much anywhere. So in this case, I'm going to hide it underneath the desk, for example, right? So let me show you kind of what that looks like. Um, and with that chair kind of tucked in there, uh, you would really not even know it's there as you got on your knees and looked underneath the table there, right? Another spot is, let me show you this uh, table here. I already pre-positioned some stuff there. So as you can see, I have an ID and some credit cards hidden there. 
a super convenient spot as well, right? Another excellent option with the duct tape is in the bathroom or in the closet, I mean, inside of the closet, right? So let me kind of show you what that looks like there. So as I open it up on the inside of the closet, uh, on the back side there, I have a thumb drive hidden. That could be a passport, that could be really anything, but that back side of that closet is an excellent spot to hide stuff. Now, word of caution when it comes to hiding stuff, small stuff in particular, in those little kind of underneath stuff. Don't do a lot of them because there's a good chance you may forget every single hiding spot, right? One or two items, try to clump them together. That way you don't forget. And then every night retrieve them because if you leave them in there for multiple days, uh, there's a good chance you may forget them when you check out, right? So just carry a little bit of duct tape with you and it's basic, basically up to your imagination on where you can hide stuff. All right, those were a few tips on where to hide stuff in the room. Every room's gonna be a little bit different, so get creative with this, but hopefully this video kind of sparks your imagination and makes you look at things a little bit different. As always, if you found this information valuable, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe as it truly does help. With that, stay safe and train hard.